I'm Brian Kahn Cannon, the Executive Director of the Institute for Justice and Democracy in Haiti, or IJDH. The Institute for Justice and Democracy Haiti, it's, it's actually two organizations, uh, the IJDH, which is based in the U.S., and the Bureau des Avocats Internationaux, or BAI, which is based in Haiti. And together we do two things. We try to make Haiti's justice system work for the majority of Haitians who are poor, and then we try to have international policies to Haiti that respect and promote human rights in Haiti. I first went to Haiti in 1995 and spent nine years there. I went to Haiti because I wanted to get into uh, doing human rights work, and I didn't have a particular affinity to Haiti, but it's something that has, uh, has grown on me, and as a result, I've spent uh, 18 years working on Haiti issues full time. 2004, it became clear to us that we needed to be fighting for justice outside of Haiti and to bring the fight we were doing in Haiti to the international community. And so in 2004, I left Haiti to, to start IJDH in the United States, which provides support for the BAI, but also tries to work on policies in Washington and Paris and London and New York that will advance prosperity and stability in Haiti. For us, the, the ultimate goals of IJDH is to leverage systemic change. So we wanted things to change for the nine million Haitians who are poor. And we can't do that just by doing individual cases. We don't have the ability to represent nine million people. We're a small organization. The way we make a big impact with small resources is you take cases that will change the system, change the way that prosecutors prosecute, judges uh, judge and, and police make the arrests. And we make sure all along the way that although we're advancing our clients' interests, that we're also getting the system to work in a way that works for our client, but anybody else like her. And in that case, it's, it's millions of people. So in the end, what we're trying to do is to use individual cases as a way to make the system work fairly for everybody in Haiti. A good example of how we're using individual cases to, to make uh, systematic change is the Jean-Claude Duvalier case. Uh, Jean-Claude was the uh, former dictator of Haiti. He's been gone for 25 years, but we're prosecuting him because it's a very important precedent. If he's not prosecuted, then, then the fact that he stole over, over half a billion dollars, the fact that he put hundreds of people in political prisoners, becomes part of the precedent that you can literally get away with murder and you can get away with stealing by, by the hundreds of millions of dollars. And by making him accountable, by, by prosecuting uh, Jean-Claude Duvalier for his crimes, we're setting a precedent against public corruption and against political violence. And we think that this is a key part of, of really stopping the cycle of both corruption and political violence in Haiti, and thereby establishing much more prosperity and stability and getting the government to work. We've come a long way over the last 18 years, but there's still a long way to go for the average Haitian to live a life of, of prosperity and stability. There's a Haitian proverb, men on peel shai palu, which is many hands makes the load light. And we really need many hands to help us make the load of injustice for Haitians light and to help create an, a new day for Haitians where they do enjoy stability and prosperity.